Hi everyone, uh, my name is Vasco and I'm really and honestly delighted that uh, there are so many developers in front of me here. It was, uh, let's say, quite busy two weeks in, in Serbia regarding some development conferences. We had PHP Serbia, we had WordCamp and there were many, many uh, developers there discussing quite interesting subjects and topics. So today I will uh, give you a little bit more uh, insights regarding uh, uh, how it looks from hosting perspective as we are a hosting company and uh, uh, this topic actually the the first version of the topic was enterprise ready highly inv available environment for hosting high traffic magenta website but for my marketing team they said there is not no enough space for for such a long topic so I needed to cut it up uh, so uh, before I start I would like to ask you uh, how many of you ever heard about and off mainstream. Okay, uh, I see some people that I recognize. Uh, so that's uh, actually good. So you can you can hear more about what we are doing and how we are doing it and so on. So in the terms of hosting and uh, especially hosting of big websites and big, uh, big e-commerce uh, setups, uh, the size really does matter. It is important that you are working with a reliable hosting company that uh, has uh, a lot of similar clients and similar setups so you can be confident that uh, hosting company can help you really to, to reach a goal. Um, uh, I will spend a few minutes in uh, trying to, uh, to see what are the differences between uh, hosting services in terms of managed and one manage and unmanaged. Uh, also, I will give you uh, our view, our vision of what really managed hosting should be looking like that, that we are calling a fully managed. Uh, also, I will talk a bit about the environment for hosting, let's say, Magento uh, high traffic website. That means uh, we will talk about why there is a need for multiple data centers uh, setup and solution. We will talk about the other components like virtualized uh, computing, storage infrastructure, application gateways, and uh, we'll dig a bit about small, let's say, small clusters around Magento itself. And at the end, I will just uh, give you a short view of why using a local and domestic hosting companies is not that bad. So we are not uh, uh, miles away from other big uh, hosting companies. Uh, in, in, in general, uh, Magento is a hot topic these days. Uh, Rackspace uh, recently announced that they are now having a managed environment offering for, for Magento users. And we are also, as a Serbian, let's say leading Serbian managed hosting company, also having a, a a few different setups uh, with Magento. Uh, so in, in order to introduce you mainstream, it's important to, to let's say, uh, see what our numbers are, what, wha how we are standing there. So we are operating in three data centers in Serbia and uh, we are generating more than one billion web pages per month. And that's uh, quite a lot. Uh, in PIX, we have more than uh, 50,000 HTTP requests per second which is also a good number. And we managed more than 1,600 uh, virtual servers by our, by, by our own. Uh, and the total daily traffic, it's a bit more than 200 terabytes per day. And we are uh, sustaining more than 12 gigabits per second in a peak time uh, on an average daily usage. Uh, regarding capacities, we have more than 40 gigabits and we're constantly investing uh, money and other resources into new technologies and new solutions that we can offer to our customers. Uh, we did some math and we calculated that we delivered availability in last year. It's the, the, the aggregated total time of down sites and down uh, and the shutdowns of some parts of our network were less than five minutes in the whole year. So we are very proud on, on that number as well. Um, in regards of hosting services, we can generally divide the hosting services in two categories. It's uh, unmanaged and managed hosting. In uh, uh, unmanaged, you are actually on your own. You are the mother and father of everything. Uh, there is no guarantees from the hosting company on, on any result you will be obtaining or having or any problems that you might have. Uh, you have the total control, which is cool for someone. Uh, you will have the full responsibility of all results and all, all the outcomes. And also you will need the expertise uh, for full software stack. And uh, uh, Magento and other, uh, and other uh, let's say, 
technologies and solutions uh, tend to have quite, uh, let's say, um, different parts of the infrastructure just to run one single uh, website. On the other hand, managed is something that is you, you, can, you can see a lot of different managed offerings. It means everything and nothing in, in, in particular. Actually, uh, managed hosting is not standardized, so it usually means that there will be some support helping you on per, ta per task issue. So you will ask them, install me a new version of PHP, or please solve the that problem with MySQL, something like that. But actually, it is per task, usually. And the support is uh, usually covering what comes with the server or the infrastructure. That means operating system, some uh, system services, and uh, monitoring, reporting. But that will be usually on all automated, like generally automated, or uh, per task provisioning. Uh, usually, in managed hosting offering, you will see control panels or automated backup scenarios and plans uh, that are part of it. And the responsibility over the results are usually shared. That means some of the uh, problems uh, uh, your hosting company might calculate as a, some kind of penalty or something like that. So you can, you can uh, say that maybe you are a bit more, let's say, uh, in a better position when you're having a managed hosting. We started the mainstream company like six years ago, and uh, w we started thinking what big websites actually need. They need a strong and let's say trustworthy partner to run their website. Actually, running a website on any kind of online business is a actually mm, question of partnership between developer teams and th that kind of all the people that are behind the scenes in regards to system administration, system services, and everything else. So we uh, actually tried to, to, to create something that we called fully managed hosting. That means that we are fully responsible for the results and outcomes. That means if there is a problem, let's say on performance issue or, or on availability issue, we'll, we will be the first one to try to tackle the problem, to, to, to say to developers, like let's see here is a problem or there is a problem, or we think that's a, a problem with some query in MySQL or something like that. And uh, usually our approach is, uh, well, the, the that one is not looking good, but never mind. Uh, so our approach is application-centric. That means application or, or what is the uh, software and solution you are trying to host and run is in the middle of everything. We are trying to design suitable solution to design together with you as developer, as the one that is actually knowing the internals of, uh, of your application. We, are try we will, after that, build that solution. We will manage it to, to you all day long. And after some period of time, we will try to, together with developers, to evolve. Because all websites and all online applications are actually constantly changing. We, we, we see that uh, and, and we, we don't have any single website that we are hosting that is not changing in, let's say, uh, 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 more than one, one month period. Uh, our role in this business is actually uh, to, to act as a glue between developers and the system. We are the one that will help you with troubleshooting, will help you with some insights about different technologies that we actually cover. Uh, we support a wide range of software stacks and technologies uh, ranging from PHP and different CMSs and uh, uh, Java, Microsoft technologies, uh, different kind of databases like uh, MySQL, Postgre, Oracle, and many, many different, different things. Uh, high availability for us as a hosting company is primary goal. When we design the system, we are there to be sure that there, is n there will be no single point of failure. Like if this power supply fails or if there is a problem with the uh, MySQL replication or something like that, the whole website will go down. Our, our job is to design the system and to manage it uh, so that we can be sure that some single failures that are happening from time to time will not actually put the whole site down. Uh, as a, let's say, part of our service is consulting services. So we are talking to each other, we are talking to developers, and we are trying to see what are the ways to make your application or website performing better, uh, making better results, and, and so on. And we are, as I said, uh, 24 hours a day for you in order to monitor and to, uh, to help you run your website. Uh, 
uh, regarding infrastructure overview, uh, uh, nowadays it's actually all about computing and storage. Uh, years ago, I would probably talk about the network and some other uh, technologies on network side. Now, network is just utility. No, we no more talk about about, about it. Uh, actually, we have. Uh, two different uh, storage approaches. We have uh, flash-only storages on the on the on the, on the bottom, uh, just for virtual machines, for database storages, and for indexes, for example. And we have file-based storages uh, that we are using uh, for sharing web files between web servers, for example, application servers. And uh, what is important is that uh, those kind of infrastructure are differently. Uh, developed there are different technologies on the on the, uh, on the uh, storage area network side it's all about speed nothing else it, it, uh, uh, those products are let's say stupid but very very very, very fast uh, on the other hand for file storage we need uh, uh, let's say a decent list of features for managing and for applications and for a snapshotting and backup facilities and everything else and we also need to have a way of uh, uh, let's say uh, forcing quality of service so we can be sure that uh, as it is a uh, forcing quality of service so we can be sure that uh, as it is a shared infrastructure uh, <coughs> there will be no nasty neighborhood uh, problems and that we will be able to actually deliver what we promised and we signed the contract for uh, and at the top we have a clustered application gateways we use Citrix net scalers which are actually the, the the part of the system that are making a big difference how your website will perform uh, for example, application gateways that we are using are um, working as a layer for load balancer, but they are actually um, quite subscriber aware, so they can do a lot of different things knowing which customer uh, can perform, uh, for example, SSL uh, uh, of offload and, and many other, uh, let's say, things that are quite hel helpful in uh, hosting a, a big uh, and uh, highly uh, highly let's say dependable uh, website. Uh, on the other hand, we have everything in place on as, uh, two sides. So multiple data centers uh, is a must for uh, nowadays. Uh, so those old stories about the primary site and disaster recovery sites are no longer, uh, let's say, no, no longer there because uh, we don't want to waste the time and money on disaster recovery scenarios. We want to have both sites operating in active active mode. So we are having, for example, on the uh, load balancing and application gateway layer, we have the load sharing between the data centers so we can satisfy some high demand in some uh, some periods of time, whatever it is, some 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 killer product that we are selling or uh, you know, election nights when everybody are looking for, for the results. Uh, on the storage level, we are replicating all data between the, uh, between, uh, data centers and we are doing it uh, on real time. That means that we can suffer complete data center loss, whatever happens. Uh, so we can uh, we can continue to uh, to deliver websites that we are uh, hosting. Uh, when Magento is in question, we have on, a, uh, let's say when we are looking uh, at the application level, uh, we are thinking about small clusters of different components we try as in a, in a fully virtualized uh, environment to make every single uh, co uh, component as simple as possible so we can have multiple small clusters for many different uh, different scenarios uh, this is here uh, one topological overview of uh, uh, one uh, magento setup that we are hosting uh, so we have the black box we're having users at the top uh, we have uh, load balancing that is actually the single point, clusterized, uh, highly available single point that are that is actually talking with the customers and, and the users. Uh, on, 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 on load balancing side, uh, we are performing server checks against the web serving farm and we are able to uh, do TCP IP offload. We are able to uh, perform SSL termination so we can offload all that work that is not business essential, essential from the web serving farm. Uh, we can have better performance, better results. And we actually, as with application gateways, we are uh, running in a, let's say, a reverse proxy environment. So that means that all connections are uh, terminated at the load balancing uh, and application gateway uh, level. So everything 
uh, below uh, load balancing is actually internal traffic. We have full control what is happening there in regard to security, intrusion detection, intrusion prevention, uh, denial of services, and everything else. We are able to act uh, very smart at that uh, load balancing level uh, in order to protect web uh, web uh, application beneath and to, to, to deliver and to, uh, to, to have better uh, performance and better results. In this uh, example, we can, uh, on the web server in farm, uh, we'll have, well, Magento is there, uh, we'll have Appart or Nginx or some, some other application, uh, application server. Uh, <coughs> usually, we, we tend to have Varnish as a, as a small cluster for uh, delivering uh, a static content, and we, we saw at the, the first presentation that uh, uh, Varnish is something very, very needed for Magento too. Uh, also, uh, uh, Magento is, let's say, uh, very well developed in sense of caching mechanism that uh, that has I internally. Uh, so, uh, having a memcache or Redis uh, for caching data or for for, for session uh, session data sh uh, sh sharing uh, between the uh, web servers is also something very very important and usual to, to have in in, in uh, Magento setups. Uh, when it comes to uh, MySQL, we, we usually uh, do multi-master uh, scenarios. That means uh, two servers are in cyclical replication of each other. So we can survive uh, with full features of your website even if the, there is a problem with, uh, uh, with one master, uh, one MySQL master. Uh, we are, uh, let's say, hosting those every single component uh, within each small cluster on a different uh, different hardware or even in a different data center so idea is to make your application running in no matter what uh, circumstances flames earthquakes and so on uh, online business is not something that is uh, uh, let's say uh, thinking about th those things uh, also we can uh, have as many as we as we want read only MySQL slaves in order to uh, enhance and improve uh, reading capabilities. It depends, it depends highly on how the application is uh, uh, actually developed and, and engineered. So if you are uh, caching a lot, then it's, it's uh, actually fine to have just uh, multi two, two, uh, two masters. But if you are reading a lot uh, from, from MySQL layer, then uh, having a, a more read-only slaves is something that we need. In, in Magento world, we saw that, uh, let's say, an issue, a question, or uh, important part is uh, uh, searching. So uh, we usually, in Magento setups, we are defining a separate clusters for search capabilities. Usually, uh, developers like Solar, so we are using it. It's uh, actually here simplified, because Solar, you will need like 10 components, uh, like proxy, like local storage, and some, some other things. But actually, we are uh, quite happy how it works with uh, uh, with Upper Solar, so Upper Solar will actually handle a request from the uh, from the application and also talk directly to MySQL in order to 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 index the data, see the changes, and to update the indexes. Uh, also, we have a few setups with Sphinx that is doing pretty much the same in much uh, easier setup, but uh, performance results with Solar are somehow uh, somehow better. Uh, and at the end, uh, I, I will give you just a few uh, insights about the tabooing uh, thing of uh, domestic and local uh, service providers. Uh, our from, from our perspective, the customer satisfaction is really our primary uh, objective. It's our priority uh, because, unfortunately, you will never, never be one of the million customers of, of mainstream because you're working on a Serbian market which is small, it's developing, but still uh, quite small. Uh, we have the local presence, and that's something very important. Uh, we can talk to you face to face. We can we can share ideas. We can we can see uh, what are best options for for your problem. We can uh, we can actually grow together. So that all the things uh, that are available in local language in uh, a face to face uh, thing. Uh, also, from the perspective of the network, uh, physical proximity to, to for, for your end customers is something that's very important. Uh, we have the low, uh, low latency connectivity to all parts of Serbia, all uh, customers that are in Serbia. Also, we have a quite good connectivity in the uh, uh, range of ex-Yugoslavia and Balkan uh, 
by Balkan area. And uh, what is coming to attention of the, uh, of, of the people is actually where the data is stored. Uh, we store our data in Serbia and only in Serbia. So all those stories about uh, uh, data privacy, protection, uh, Snowden affairs and everything else, we are, we are here so no CIA and others uh, will be able to, to look at your files. And that's a quite sensitive question. Uh, maybe for some small e-commerce setup, it doesn't matter where, the, where your data is, but uh, if you think out of the box and think on a, on a higher scale, actually knowing really exactly where your data is and what is the, uh, let's say, legislation uh, policy that is applied to your data and, and where the data and how the data is protected is actually very, very important question because on e-commerce side, on the e-commerce side, we have a, a quite, uh, let's say, uh, interesting issue of uh, uh, data privacy and protection of, uh, let's say, important privacy uh, information that are maybe stored. Not to mention uh, all the all the things uh, re related to payments and to cards and and everything else. Uh, so that's actually all I had to, to to say. I try to be a bit faster so we can uh, we can. Uh, be on a schedule and to go to, to that coffee that we're all waiting for. Uh, I will just remind you that in your bag you have a survey, one, uh, one paper with some questions. And if you fill that uh, survey and go to the registration desk, you will be uh, given a present, a T-shirt with uh, some funny Cyrillic uh, THC uh, on it. Uh, so if you have any questions regarding what I said, be free to, to ask. So, uh, hi, and uh, thanks for the great talk. Uh, my question is, uh, in your typical Magento build, uh, which backend load time do you aim for? Uh, which? Which backend lo load time do you aim for? So, uh, time to first byte. Uh, I don't know to answer the question. I know I'm a managing partner of mainstream, not the lead engineer anymore. Okay. We have a question? Okay, so the question is uh, about pricing. Uh, well, actually, we really recognize that we are working on a Serbian local market, so pricing is not suited for you know Silicon Valley, definitely. Uh, uh, we tend not to you know, let's say uh, make the pricing around resources because resources are there. We are having it enough, so we are trying to 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 make a pricing regarding uh, how much uh, uh, our team will will need to work with you on your solution. So scaling is not a problem, especially it's not in a pricing problem. Uh, we have a quite uh, interesting, uh, let's say, startup program. So if you are signing a contract in three years for us, you will, for example, have like 85% uh, uh, discount on the first year, and then you'll have some smaller discount in the second year, and the third year you will, you will pay the full, full price. And that's the way uh, how we, we can give you the all resources you need, so you are able to burst and to satisfy high demand you will probably uh, generate, but to, uh, let's say, ease on that payment side and to, uh, to give you ability to, to grow without uh, paying for the, for the infrastructure. Uh, regarding bandwidth, bandwidth is <coughs> really no longer a problem, especially in e-commerce uh, environments, uh, bandwidth that are generated are, uh, let's say, quite handable, and uh, they usually doesn't influence the price pretty much. I cannot uh, talk, uh, let's say, more precise about the pricing because there is a one uh, prospective customer of mainstream, so we are just in a negotiation phase, so I need to, to, to stay with, you know, poker face. Well, 
well, I don't have the, the, the real number about the, let's say, uh, Magento stores hosted in, in Serbia or, or Serbian Magento stores hosted anywhere in the world. Uh, I know that we have uh, like four or five uh, e-commerce, let's say, uh, sites based on Magento. And the last one that we uh, just uh, uh, finished the setup is Pakolako shop, the, uh, the brand and the, the software bought by Nelp company and they are say quite offensive on, on, on that side. So we see that Magento is something very important. Uh, uh, three years ago we offered, uh, we created a new public cloud offering and we offered for example Magento one click install, uh, mm -hmm. one server, everything on, on one place and uh, there was some demand for, for such a product, especially in development uh, phase. Like uh, some smaller companies were using that to test and to develop their own product and then to, to see what will what they will do with the hosting. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you.